Super Bowl time is almost here, baby. The time where two different fandoms finally get to clash with each other, the sports fans and the movie fans, or those rare ones who are both. You sicken me. Now clearly just by taking a gander at me, you know I'm not participating in a lot of sports, but Super Bowl time is a fun time for everyone. I'm that quirky, silly fun man that stays on my phone during the game and put it down for the commercials cause I like me them Super Bowl commercials. But look, other than the funny commercials, Super Bowl time is really important for movie fans and studios out there. This is the time where they got general audiences right in front of them, most of the ticket moviegoers spending millions of dollars just to get their attention. You know some of the people I'm talking about, those relatives of yours that when you see a family functions and they saw a poster for a made up movie on Facebook and were like, oh, I saw me a post that Hugh Jackman, Robert Downey Jr. and Ghost Rider are gonna have a tea party in Secret Wars. Ain't you excited for that, nephew? Can't tell you how many times that's happened to me in my life. So I'll be breaking down the movies that you can expect to have trailers at the Super Bowl and whether we think they really will grab the attention of general audiences because uh, it's up to them whether we get sequels and continuations of these franchises. All right, so Deadline here is the one that dropped the article letting us know of a bunch of the different movie trailers and TV spots that we can expect to see at the Super Bowl. Let's kick things off here studio by studio, starting off with Warner Brothers in a big surprise twist. Warner Brothers is finally coming back to promote a movie Movie at the Super Bowl when the last time they did it was in the year 2006 for the movie V for Vendetta. Ever since that year, Warner Brothers has just continuously skipped the Super Bowl and see it as a waste of money. Of course, now that we have a change of management and a new direction and some desperate attention to restart a DC universe, they gotta do everything they can. Which makes all the sense in the world why one of the movies they're gonna be promoting is the upcoming Flash movie with Ezra Miller and I am looking forward to this footage. Even though we've had a trailer already from the Flash movie, that is only a fraction of what this movie's gonna be looking like. We haven't seen anything yet. No action sequences involving the Flash themselves. Michael Keaton's Batman making an actual face appearance. This one is really big to show general audiences because although you have debates with movie fans right now whether anyone cares about Michael Keaton Batman, the majority of people watching that football game grew up on Michael Keaton Batman and they're gonna lose their marbles when they see him returning in a movie. You pair that up with James Gunn saying that this is probably the best comic book movie he's ever seen and it's the restart of his new universe. It, lots riding on this movie, so I'm kind of excited to see this trailer. Moving on from there, we go to Universal. Now, Universal is no stranger to spending the big bucks at the Super Bowl. They have done it almost every year, and one of the movies they continue to promote is the Fast and the Furious franchise, baby. Nothing screams football like family. I'm not sure yet if the general movie going audience is burnt out on the Fast and Furious franchise. That last movie kind of left me disappointed, so I'm not entirely hyped to see this. But since this movie is the beginning of the end of the franchise as the Infinity War to the next one, that'll be their end game. I'm sure it's gonna draw some attention. Jason Momoa is in there as the villain. So this one's really got the hardcore movie fans and the general audiences on the edge of the seat on whether we care to see this. The Super Mario movie is also gonna be getting a TV spot. They have been dropping nothing but clips, TV spots, little sections of this movie. Honestly, I don't even wanna see anymore because everything they've been dropping looks so perfect to me. I wanna save some of the surprises and little Easter eggs and stuff for when I actually see this movie. So I'm hoping the Super Mario trailer is kind of just a rehash of things that we have seen before, but it reaches the audience they need to to get some butts in the theater. They're also gonna be dropping a TV spot for White Powdered Sugar Bear. Again, you know here on the channel can't say the actual name of this movie and that looking like a dumb good fun time is exactly the kind of movie you want to promote at the Super Bowl in my opinion. Bringing us here to Disney that not only makes themselves known at the Super Bowl they basically take up all the slots there. They have the money to spend and they're gonna do it for almost every movie they have premiering in 2023. Starting off they're gonna have a release spot for Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania with that movie releasing so close to the Super Bowl uh, that makes sense that they would do that. You have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 also gonna be getting a TV spot I assume we're probably gonna get some minor new footage since we only have one trailer so far And I think that's what it will be since they still want to focus on the Ant-Man movie at the time They won't really show anything too big in that Guardians of the Galaxy trailer Something general audiences will finally be getting a look at is the upcoming live-action Little Mermaid movie Since we already got a teaser showing off the Little Mermaid and her amazing voice I'm thinking this TV spot is where you finally show us some of the world in this Little Mermaid The underwater castle, her father, but or Melissa McCarthy as Ursula Yeah, Pixar's next 
movie Elemental, man, Pixar lately in theaters has been hurting. Not only because a lot of their movies these past couple of years have been going straight to Disney Plus, kind of training the general audience to think, oh, if I want to see a Pixar movie, it's just going to be on that streaming service right away. Even the most recent Buzz Lightyear movie, Lightyear, didn't perform all that well at the box office. But now that Papa Iger is back at Disney, he's definitely going to want to rebrand Pixar and make it the gold standard it used to be and let people know you're going to see this in theaters. So I wouldn't be surprised if the entire time this trailer's playing, it has a little thing at the bottom going in theaters only. Kind of retraining the general audience, you know what I mean? Another one that is really going to be impactful for the football general audience people is a trailer for the new Indiana Jones movie directed by James Mangold. Now, Dial of Destiny, super excited for it. I'm glad we're not ending the series on Crystal Skull. And just in the same way, the audience that grew up on Michael Keaton's Batman, this is also the audience that grew up with Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. They're going to want to be part of his final film. So a really smart move of them to actually show that at the Super Bowl. Now, one they're saying is on the rocks that I'm not sure yet is that we could get our possible first look at the Marvels. That's the Captain Marvel sequel that'll feature Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau in there, as well as Miss Marvel. I've actually been hearing wonderful things about this movie and that they're going to go in a kooky kind of fun way. With the unnecessary hate the first Captain Marvel gets just for being an okay movie, I'm really hoping general audiences will give a chance to this sequel. And if they show footage, that footage is going to be vital to whether they're going to accept it or not. Moving on from there to the next studio, Paramount Pictures and the movies they've decided to showcase at the Super Bowl. You guys know Scream 6 is one of my most anticipated movies of this year. I am counting down the days for this movie and them willing to spend millions of dollars at the Super Bowl to showcase this, I feel is a big sign to the quality of this movie. Now, I'm not saying every movie that gets a Super Bowl TV spot is going to be a great movie, but I think it's a little unconventional that horror movies as low budget as Scream 6 get this kind of attention. And as someone who's greedy with the Scream franchise and wants a seventh movie, I need as many eyeballs to be aware that this movie's coming out so they can go see it. We also got Dungeons and Dragons gonna be pulling out a Super Bowl TV spot. I'm not really excited either way for this. I know there's some like weird controversy within the Dungeons and Dragons community that are against this movie. To me, it's always hard to gauge whether these fantasy films will hit hard with general audiences. Obviously, Dungeons and Dragons has a big fan base, but I guess with the money they spent on this one, they need as many people to be aware of it's coming out. Transformers Rise of the Beast is also gonna be getting a TV spot during the Super Bowl. That makes a lot of sense to me. It's a freaking Transformers movie, but let's be honest with ourselves. General audiences have kind of been a little burnt out on Transformers. This next one, Rise of the Beast, I feel could be a big stepping stone to bringing back Transformers into that billion dollar franchise that it used to be. And just having a robotic gorilla like Optimus Primal in front of the screens of general people, I feel that's gonna bring out enough curiosity in them to go, we gotta check out that Transformers movie. And as of right now, those seem to be the confirmed movies you can expect to see at the Super Bowl. Other than that, other studios weren't willing to comment whether they were gonna spend the money or not. That's people like MGM, Lionsgate, and Sony. Sony has been staying away from the Super Bowl, so I really wouldn't expect any of their titles to kind of be in here. But if MGM and Lionsgate do, then you can expect a Creed 3 trailer, which yeah, I feel like that would go good at the Super Bowl. It's a sports movie and it's a Rocky franchise movie. It'd be a good place to promote that. And also John Wick 4, action franchise and football well, those go hand in hand. You should promote it there, so don't be surprised if you see that pop up. On that though, that's really what we can expect from the Super Bowl. I think it's a good handful of stuff that we can see. There's some stuff we've already seen, some new things we're getting. I really want to know from you guys, which are the top three Super Bowl TV spots you are most excited for? Which do you think are going to hit harder for the people who don't keep track of all the movie news like we do? Which do you think will fail with them that they'll look at and go, why would anyone watch that? If you say Scream 6, I'm going to gut you. Anything and everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok talk at 3c films but as always i'm chris touchdown that's a football thing right